top 30 most important SQL queries for beginners. First, retrieving data from all the columns. So after select, you have to give the star and after from, you have to give the table name. Select star from animal will select all the columns from the animal table. Retrieve data from certain columns. So after select, you have to give the column names from which the data is to be retrieved and after from, you have to give the table name. Select ID name from animal. This will select ID and name column from the animal table. Filtering data using where clause. So after where clause, you have to give the condition by which you want to filter the result. So we are selecting ID name and age from animal table where the entries in the age column should be greater than or equal to 2. So after where clause, what we have given? We have given a condition for a certain column. You can give multiple conditions. So next. Filter data using condition joined by AND operator. So if you have multiple condition and you are joining it by AND operator, both the condition should be true to filter the data. For example, select ID name and age. These are columns selected from animal. This is the table from which these columns are selected where age greater than equal to 2 and name is equal to dog. If both these column entries are true, both these conditions are true and they have this column entry then only that row will be selected to be in the resultant table. Filtering data using conditions joined by OR operator. In AND operator both the conditions should be true. In OR operator any one of the condition can be true to filter the data. For example select ID name and age from animal where age greater than equal to 2. So for age greater than equal to 2 all column will be selected and for name is equal to dog all columns will be selected. Using distinct to retrieve non-repetitive records. So we have duplicate records and we don't want to repeat them while retrieving the data we can use the distinct keyword. So select distinct name comma color we are selecting two columns name and color from clothing. This distinct keyword will not allow duplicate records in name and color column. Retrieving data without null in a certain column. So if you want to retrieve a data only from rows without null in a certain column, use is not null. In this example, the value in the column color may not be null. So only record with the value stored in the column color will be written. A similar operator to is not null is is null which checks if the value is equal to null or, or not. So, so we are selecting name and color column from clothing table and we have given condition color column is not null. So color column entry cannot be null while retrieving the data. Sorting data according to one column for this we have to use order by clause. So we are selecting ID and name from animal table and we are ordering by the column name. This will uh, sort the table in the ascending order of name. Sort the data according to more than one column. For this also we have, will use a order by clause and sequence of sorting of column will be important. For example, in this case we are selecting id name from animal table and we are first ordering it by name in the descending order. So first column will the all the entries in the table id and name will be sorted first by name in the descending order and within that sorted uh, result uh, we will sort the result by id. So if you have common entries uh, in the first sort result the ID will decide which will be the sequence in that sorted entry. Searching for a value matching a certain pattern. So to find out a pattern in SQL we use like keyword. For example, here we are selecting ID and name column from animal table and this where condition has a pattern where name like percent %e percent to so this like clause is used for pattern matching and percent e percent represent any characters before e 
and a character after E. So the name should contain letter E in between. Then that name will be selected in the resultant table. If you have only percent %E for pattern matching, then all the names with the ending with E will be selected. If you have E percent as a pattern matching, all the names which, uh, which are starting with E will be selected in the resultant table. Joining values from text column in ones into one string. For this, concatenate function is used. For example, select concat category blank name from tab will concatenate category column with the space are followed by a name column in the resultant uh, table where we are using concat function followed by select. Using mathematical operators, so you can use plus minus into and divide in the SQL query if the column are numeric or uh, to perform mathematical operator operations or computation. For example, select price minus discount. So what the resultant value will be stored in the result. You can view it as a uh, alias as total price or any other name. And this will be done from the product table. So this uh, minus will be can be replaced by into divide or multiplication. Adding data from different table. So for adding data from different table, you can use union or or union uh, operator. Wherein if you use union all, the duplicate entries on the different different table will also be included. So we are selecting a last name column from customer table union or we are selecting last name column from the employee table. So all the entries of last name from customer table and employee table will be uh, in the resultant table. Finding the intersection of set of data. So for finding intersection that is the common entries we can use intersect. So we are selecting last name from customer table intersect we are selecting last name from employee table all the common entries in both the table for the last name will be selected to be the result in the resultant table joining data from different table so you can use different types of joining to uh, combine the data from the different table like inner join left join right join full outer join or cross join here is one example. We are selecting customer last name and customer city from customer table. No, sorry. We are selecting customer last name and city name from customer where customer table contributes to the last name. Inner join city which contributes to the city name. And the join condition which is a common column in both the table. Customer I dot ID is equal to city dot customer ID. What will inner join do? It will join the last name and name column from customer and city table and return the common entries from both the table in the resultant table. Using aliases of table and column. If you are join table, it is good idea to use aliases for the table and column names. So here for example of aliases, we are selecting C dot last name and giving it a alias, a different name in the resultant table as well name. T dot name as city. So here C refers to some table and T refers to some table and L name is a alias and city is alias so from customer as c so c is alias for customer table inner join city as t where t is alias for uh, city table on c dot id is equal to t dot customer id where id and customer id are the column which are representing common entries in uh, common values in both the table used for joining here we are uh, using inner join therefore or uh, the common entries in both the table for the customer ID or ID will be selected to be in the resultant table and they will be given a alias name as 
well named and city in the resultant table counting the number of rows in a table for this we can use count function select count id from product where id is the column and count is the function will count the number of ids in the product table calculating the average of the uh, average of the values in a column for this we will use the average function select avg price from product where price is the column and average is the function applied on the price column of the product table calculate the sum of values uh, in a column for this we will use a sum function select sum price from product so this will add all the entries in the price column and return it as a result finding the minimum value in the column for this we will use the mean function select mean price from product the price is the column and mean function will find out the lowest entry in the price column and return it as a result finding the maximum value in a column select max price from product will uh, the price in the price column it will find the maximum value and return it as a result in the resultant table calculating the aggregate value from groups of record so you have your aggregate function and you also have a group by applied to it select category and count of id so we are applying count function on id from product group by category so in a particular ad category how many ids are there will be uh, written as a query for the given query filtering rows using aggregate function so we are selecting category and a average price from product group by category having average price less than 55.50 here what we are doing we are grouping the uh, column entries by category from in that group we are finding average of the price column and we are filtering that uh, uh, rows uh, for the result where average is uh, less than 56.50 removing data from a table so for this we will use a delete from so to remove all the data from the table we will use a delete from and the table name here we have used delete from product removing records meeting a certain condition from a table so here also we will use a delete from the table name but we will give a condition using where clause delete from table product where id is equal to 5 inserting data into a table for this we will use insert into statement so we are using inserting data into product table columns uh, 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 name are id name and cat category so we have to provide id name and category as a input and values are 25 sofa and uh, furniture so this will insert these three values inside the column id name and category of the product table updating a column in a table to update a value uh, or update a column in a table we can use the update statement so update product set company is equal to abc so in the product table where uh, company column is there that will be first set as all the entries will be set as abc updating column by filtering record here along with the update condition we will have the where condition where the where condition satisfy then the update of the table will occur so update product set, set name is equal to armchair where id is equal to 25 so where the id column is equal to 25 the name will be uh, changed to armchair creating a table for this we will create uh, use a create table statement so we are creating a table name tab uh, which is having two columns first is i uh, first is id and second is name type of id is integer and type of name is varchar and for varchar we are using 50 right. deleting a table you can delete a table 
using drop table statement drop table table name here tab table will be deleted from the database summary the query described above are most commonly used by both beginners and professional this query you need to create uh, this query you need to create or drop a table insert data into a table update record or remove the record from a table that's it for this video thank you thanks for watching